Good morning, this is Diane. Good morning, morning. Good morning. Yes, God is good all the time. Happy Wednesday, Sister Yvonne. Thank Happy you. Happy Wednesday. That was super. Good morning, Sister Diane. Happy Wednesday. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, it's Good Susie. Morning, Susie. <laughs> Good Happy morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you as well. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Good morning, Victory family. It's Pam. Happy Wednesday. Love y'all. Good morning, Pam. Happy Wednesday. Good morning, Miss Carla. Happy Wednesday. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Good morning, it's Miss B. Happy Wednesday. Good morning, Miss B. Happy Wednesday to you as well. Good morning, this is Cynthia. Good morning, Cynthia. Happy Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Happy Wednesday to you too. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for calling Declare Victory. This is Felicita. Who else has joined us? Good morning. Thank you for calling Declare Victory. This is Felicita. Who's on the line? Thank you for calling Declare Victory. This is Felicita. Who else has joined us? Morning, valuable morning, family. This is Rochelle. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, Rochelle. Good morning. Thank you for calling Declare Victory. This is Felicito. Who else has joined us? Good morning, Kedra. I think that's who it was. It was really low, but that's what it sounded like. Am I right? Yes, that's me. All right. Happy Wednesday. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for calling Declare Victory. This is Felicita. Who else has joined us? Hello, this is Sister Sylvia. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Sylvia. Happy Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for calling Declare Victory. This is Felicita. Who else has joined us? Good morning. This is Yvette. Good morning, Yvette. Happy Wednesday. Time to you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for calling to Claire Victory. This is Felicita. Who else has joined us? Good morning, family. It's Magnificent. Good morning, be valuable. Good morning, Magnificent. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, family. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, it's Dynamite Didi. I had to go back and get the name that Diamond Gill gave me. Good morning, <laughs> That's <Didi>. right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Good morning, Dynamite Didi. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Good morning. Thank you for calling Declare Victory. This is Felicita. Who else has joined us?
Is there anyone else that would like to say good morning before we begin the hosting? Yes, good morning. Oh, my. This is Patricia. Good morning. God bless everybody. Declare victory. God bless you, Patricia. Happy Wednesday. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. It's Krishanda. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, Krishanda. Okay, at this time, I'm going to ask everyone to place their phones on mute and we'll begin the hosting. Good morning, everyone. My name is Valuable Valacita and I'm your hostess. Thank you for joining us here on Declare Victory. We are a prayer call that meets Monday through Saturday starting at 6 a.m. Pacific time to edify, empower, encourage, and equip you in your walk with Christ. Please feel free to invite a friend so they can be blessed as well. This is creepy. Sure. Um, can you place your phone on mute, please? Be sure to join us daily in November for the monthly theme entitled Reset. Our wonderful and gifted declares will definitely bless you. There are two announcements today. Today is the day that declare victory fast for anything that you may be believing the Lord for. If you would like to join in, push back your plate or something that you spend a lot of time doing and offer this time to the Lord in prayer. We will be fasting all day until 5 p.m. where we will call back into the same phone number and have a quick closing prayer. Next, we encourage you to partner with Declare Victory in giving in an effort to share the gospel both locally and abroad. And you can do so by visiting declarevictory.org or you can go through the PayPal at paypal.me forward slash declare victory or through the cash app at dollar sign declare victory. We pray many blessings by our Heavenly Father be returned to you for your giving and trusting in Him. There are zero, There are no new prayer requests from the app. The order of the call is as follows. Prayer and corporate praise will be brought by Denise Woodward, declaration by Dion, and then we'll go right into closing comments hosted by Dion. I'll repeat the order. Prayer and corporate praise by Denise Woodward, declaration by Dion, and then closing co comments hosted by Dion. The scripture today is from Job chapter 42, verse 10. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. At this time, we ask that you please place your phones on mute until instructed to come off mute. I now pass the call to Denise. Have a blessed day. Denise, if you're praying, we can't hear you. Let me uh, send her a text. Um, that was okay. Oh, thank you so Good much. Morning. Do we have an ambassador on the phone that would be able to pray in place of Denise just in case we can't contact Denise? I'm here, Valisita, if um, she's not there. This is Dee Dee. Okay, thank you, Dee Dee. 
we'll we'll give her another minute and see if she's gonna get on. Can I make a prayer request? Yes, you can. For, for my kids, my daughter's grandmother, she's in the hospital. Her name is Shirley, which is okay. Mona's mom. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate you letting us know. Dee Dee, um, go ahead and pray if you if you um, can't, please. Thank you. Okay, sis, I'm here. Okay, and I'm not sure if you heard that prayer I request. Did. Well, okay, oh, I got it. Thank you, VV. I lifted that. Thanks. Oh, Father, we just take a moment. We just take a moment to give you thanks. We thank you for this brand new day, a day that we have not seen. So for that alone, we just say hallelujah for a brand new day from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. It's your name that's worthy to be praised. So good morning, Holy Spirit. Have your way this morning, this Wednesday. We give you thanks and praise for the breath in our bodies and for the ability to hear and to see and to walk and to talk. God, we thank you. We don't just take it for granted that we are here. Somebody didn't see this day. So we are just grateful for your mercy and your grace, God. And we just say we love you and we adore you. And there's none like you. There's no name above your name. It's your name that just changes every situation. You go before we even know, God. You go before us. You know exactly what we need. So we thank you because you are Jehovah Jireh, you are a provider. You continue to provide for us. And that is why we are able to get up and get on a prayer call. So I thank you right now. I thank you for Dion, for just being obedient, for for declare victory even in existence. And I thank you for all those behind the scene that make this call flow, God. It's you, but because they are giving up time and sacrifice and everything so that we can have an amazing, life-changing call, I give you praise. I just give you praise, God, because it's due to you for everything, no matter what we are facing. You are still God, and you are still good all by yourself. So we rejoice in that. I call out Mother Shirley to you this morning. You heard the request, God. You know all about her. Just just cover her and keep her and bless her while she's in the hospital and let her family not have worry, but that they will worship you and then they will praise you for her and know how to pray for her and cover her because you are Jehovah Rapha and you are the healer. We go to the healer for the healing. So I thank you in advance for a great report for her and anyone else standing in the need of healing just to believe that you are because you are. So I thank you this morning, God. You said for us not to be anxious for anything, but to pray for everything. It's simple as that. Everything, even those things that we don't think you care about, you do, because you're concerned about all that concerns us. So I just want to say, Lord, you know what we are standing in need of on this morning, this Wednesday morning, God. We put it all at your feet, everything, even that hidden stuff, God, that stuff that we're not proud of, even that we give to you. We surrender this morning to you, God. Right now, we just lay it at your feet. Everything, every situation, we give you that stuff because your son, you gave your only son for us on the cross. Why wouldn't we give it all to you? Every sickness, every worry, every doubt. Give that bitterness, that anger, all of that stuff up now. God, it's just so much going on. But even with what's going on with this COVID, God, you're bigger than that. Hallelujah. You're bigger than diabetes. You're bigger than cancer. You're bigger than lupus. You're bigger than mental illness, God. You're bigger than anything. Um, Alzheimer's, God, for the elderly. And you know what I'm finding out? It is not an age thing. Hallelujah. Dementia does not care, God. I thank you right now because we can trust you to be our healer if we trust you and not doubt our own prayers, God. So just this morning, God, I just want to just come to you and ask for forgiveness for anything that any of us that call in, that declare, that 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 uh, pray, that greet, anything in us that's not of you, God. Hey, God, I just ask that you will forgive us, God. We know what the word says about 
um, changing and being humble and all of that. You guys know the prayer. The the it's a prayer. It should be a prayer. It's a scripture. But we need to make it daily. But we have to actually do something. We have to change. We have to change. We can pray. We can fast. We can do all of that. We but we need to seek your face and turn and change so that everything will change. God, we thank you because you are God and you are good. It's as simple as that. Lord, even if we are taking some people, I mean, let me just say it like this. If we have been taking things for granted, God, mm, forgive us. The selfishness, if we're not humble enough, Father God, if we've been too prideful, some of us put more into things, God. It's not about big houses and cars and it's not about any of that. It's all about you and the relationship with you so that we can reach those souls that are lost. There's so many that need you. We need you. We need you now. Hallelujah, God. So we cry out to you, God. We need you now. So much going on, but we turn to you. We thank you, God. We just want to thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Just a gra- an attitude of gratitude this morning for your love because your love is magnificent. You are an amazing, good, good father, and we just run to you because they're safe. We are safe in your shadow, God. No matter what's going on, we are safe, and we know that you will fight for us because you are our warrior. Hallelujah! Thank you for that, God. Those that are going through this season because because it's a holiday, Thanksgiving is coming up, and some people don't think they have things to be thankful for, and maybe their situation is is really bad. They may be homeless or without whatever it is, but God, I just ask that you give them a peace and know that you are still there and you are still God, and you can do whatever there needs to be done if they just trust in you, God. There's nothing too hard for you to do, God, nothing, no thing too hard for you to do. I've seen you just change situations when the doctor said not so. I'm on the phone this morning and when the doctor said she's not going to make it, Mom, make funeral arrangements, but I know you to be Jehovah Rapha. You are a healer, so I thank you for healing power, God. There's nothing too hard for you to do. Just trust you and believe you. Believe what your word says. We have to believe that you are who you say you are. And I thank you that. I thank you that I know you to be Jehovah Shalom. You will give us peace in the middle of any situation. So I thank you that you are God and you are good. You are a promise keeper. You're not a man that you should lie. You keep your word. You will never leave us nor forsake us. I pray for all the children today that has a new normal. They don't know even what to do. There's no schools open and it's just different for them, God, but give them your peace as well. Those that are in the element, homeless, give them covering and protection. Those that are in, in facilities alone, So many people are alone in facilities. Sometimes nobody even checks on them. They're just laying there to wait. Pray for the frontline workers, the nurses, the doctors, the anesthesiologists, all who come in contact. Just continue to cover and keep them so that they too can get through this, God. I just thank you for everything, God. There's so much to thank you for. There's just so much to thank you for. I just have a thanks in my heart, a thank you and a hallelujah, a thank you and a hallelujah. You guys, just take your phones off mute and just give them a praise that's due, no matter what you're facing. Open up your mouths and just begin to thank him. Thank him for this day. Because you, you're not, it wasn't promised to you. Thank you that he got you through this day. And it's his breath in your lungs. And so you can cry out. God, I lift up Denise to you, Father God. You know what she's in need of as well, God. I thank you for another victory. Victor on the line. I thank you for Brother Andrew, Father God. Put on my mind and just. And Thank you, 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 thank you,
you guys are more than welcome to to join the line, uh, but it'll be a little bit uh, less formal on today. Amen. And real quick, I just want to give you all something to pray for during the course of the day. Uh, a young lady that I mentor, uh, her name is Tasha Dodson, had a massive heart attack on Sunday. If you all would be kind enough to lift her up to the Father for me, I know she has yet work to do, and so we thank God that her brain has full activity. Uh, that is the report of the Lord and the report of the doctors. We just have to wait for her body to respond to the commands of the Lord as it is written of her in the book. And so I'm excited about her future. Um, but if you would just lift her up in prayer, I would appreciate it. I love her. Amen. <clears throat> and so here we are this morning. Um, you guys know, if you know nothing else about me, I love a good story and uh, tend to tell my business as I share stories um, simply because I love to make it relatable. I love to put it in your hands so you can feel it and uh, experience what it looks like to apply the Word of God to your lives. And I have two natural experiences that I want to parallel with the text that God has given me on today. We're going to skip around just a little bit um, according to what the word of the Lord says. And, and so we have been talking about resetting, resetting. And as we approach uh, December the 1st and our theme being focus. Uh, I want to give you something to preface as you begin to, number one, work out the things to be grateful for, the things to honor God for, the things that keep at the forefront of your mind that not only is God able, uh, but ultimately we have victory in and through Christ. And so we have to be careful not to allow our experiences, past nor present, um, to skew our perspective, not people, not things, not situations, uh, not circumstances, but uh, and not fear. We have to allow the power of Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of us to determine our attitudes, right? If we focus on our circumstances, the reality is it will have us batty. If we focus on the things that we see, it will cause us to um, stray from the truth of God's word and be consumed and meditate on the things that we are experiencing and or exposed to, right? We have to recall and remember that we are renewed in and through Christ. The reality is that life is going to happen. I was having a conversation with my mother last night, and I was just recapping the goings on of my day, um, which ultimately was um, weighty. It was heavy. It was uh, stressful. It was uh, potentially full of anxiety, and I had to make active decisions that most people wouldn't have to make. Uh, in this particular set of circumstances. Uh, um, at my office, we are in the process of renovating. And I'm, I promise I'm going to tie these couple of things together because I want to paint a picture for you so that you are clear. We are renovating. And so some days we'll come in and the office is, I mean, told up. You hear me? It's sawdust everywhere, there's from sanding, there's uh, from the, the spackle and or the plaster where uh, the construction worker has sanded things. And so we sneeze in it <laughs> and cough and throat itching and <clears throat> all the stuff, but there's still work that needs to be done. Now, one of two things could happen. Um, I could be thrown off by what it is that I see, or I can come in do what it is that I need to do uh, in an effort to make sure that the task is accomplished. The truth is renovation is messy. Uh, the truth is renovation is um, sometimes uncomfortable. 
truth is, renovation can um, periodically be in convenient, but the end result is better, it's greater, it's uh, stronger, it is more durable, it is more pliable, such is uh, the goings on with one's mind uh, when we talk about reset. And so uh, we have gotten the office to a particular place. Yesterday, I got up and uh, got to the office rather early, earlier than I normally do with the hopes and the plans of executing some things that I had not, uh, and, and truth be told, because I was a bit distracted by the renovation, if you know anything about me, I'm a bit of a minimalist. Um, that means my workspace, uh, I'm, I'm the one that will throw everything away and start all over again. That would be me. I like pieces, uh, uh, smaller, more condensed, conducive to uh, really keeping my brain uncluttered. So yesterday, uh, the day before, we were able to get some things organized. I was able to wipe everything down and have pictures and Hello. Can hear you, Didi. We can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, can give her just a minute. minute. Give her, give her just a minute. Everybody, go ahead and mute the line. Give her just a minute. Sorry, guys, I did not know that the call had dropped. Um, hopefully, can you hear me now? Can somebody just let me know? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We can um, hear you now, and we you lost you at, at you minimalist. I saw your text. Minimalist. Okay. okay, got it, got it. Sorry, guys, I did not know the call had dropped. Um, <clears throat> under whatever circumstance, um, again, if you know anything about me, I'm a minimalist. I, I prefer that there not be a bunch of clutter around me. It is my preference that things are orderly so that I can function orderly. And so we had gotten to a place where we got the office back in a high functioning state, dusted everything off, everybody's working, pictures on the walls. Yesterday I got to work super early. I was excited to work. I've been there a couple of hours and uh, my phone rings and it is Josiah. Now, normally, this would not be an alarming situation. Certainly, you've had children. They've had nosebleeds. But uh, for those that know a portion of my testimony, Josiah started a new chemotherapy two and a half weeks ago. And this nosebleeding stuff is one of the side effects. It's one of the things that has impacted him, along with several other things. But if you look at him, if you see him, you would not know that he was going through what he was going through. The difference is, uh, with my other children, I would have said, boy, if you don't go blow your nose and go on somewhere, well, unfortunately, I, I can't do that with him. And so I ended up not just in emergency, but in two separate hospitals. <laughs> I spent about seven and a half hours yesterday in the hospital about a nosebleed. Very glad that we went. There were some things that were identified, but the reality is that life happens. I had plans. However, situations and circumstances altered my plan. Now, one of two things can happen, and I promise I'm going to give you some words to go with this. Uh, either I could 
uh, allow myself to be overwhelmed and consumed with my surroundings, my situation, and my circumstances, or I can use the truth of God's word to expound upon accurate perspective, right? And so as, as we grow and as we become, as we um, are, are stretched and pulled, the reality is that there's a responsibility for us to mature in our faith in such a way that our circumstances do not overcome or overwhelm us. So Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the 14th verse says this, then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking truth in love, uh, speaking truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head and that is Christ. From him, the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament grow and build itself up in love as each part does its work. The reality is that some things come in an effort to build up our stamina. Some things come in an effort to uh, skew and switch and change and transform our perspectives. It is our responsibility to embrace God's word as truth. It is our responsibility to apply his word to our lives in such a way that even uh, when hard things come, we are uh, resilient. So Ephesians 22 says, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off all self, which is uh, being corrupt by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds. And the reality was I was hella annoyed. How about that? I was annoyed because I had some plans. I, I had an agenda. I had some things at the forefront of my mind that I needed to accomplish, that I wanted to finish. And I had to do something when I got home in an effort to reset, in an effort to reestablish uh, my reality. And the reality is I am not moved by what I experience. I am not moved by the external circumstances under which uh, I, I am exposed to. I am moved by the power and the presence of God. It is my responsibility to hold fast to the truth of God's word. I had to do something in my mind to make sure that when I woke up this morning, I was not only prepared to teach, but prepared to teach uh, from a well place, prepared to teach not from a bitter place, because the reality is that when you are a caregiver, um, and, and my caregiving is extensive, <laughs> I, I have several caregiving areas in my life. <clears throat> but the reality is I was created to nurture. I was created to care for. I was created uh, to build up. I was created to pour into. Uh, and I have to make sure that it's from a well place. And in so doing, uh, the reality is I had to decide to feel better. Right? I had to make a decision. Right? So, so in that, to be made new in the attitude of your mind and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and in true holiness. I had to make an active decision to trust what I know to be true, right? And so then here it is that uh, uh, we've had a long day and, and then in my mind, all I wanted to do was come home, honey, and go to bed. <laughs> Right? All, all I wanted to do was come home and put my head under the covers, child, and just say, forget today, let's start over tomorrow. But I knew that I had an obligation. And one of the things that I love about uh, living this kingdom living life is that you will self-sacrifice in the effort to empower others. You will uh, get over yourself in the effort to make sure others 
our well. Uh, Jesus, even coming to earth, he completely got over himself. Everything about him was selfless. Everything about him was uh, self-sacrificial. And I'm, I'm grateful that we fall under the realm of that level of grace. He did all of that in an effort for us to effectively, resiliently reset. So Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, therefore, I urge you, brother and sister, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your body a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good pleasing and perfect will. And so uh, we find ourselves that when situations and circumstances arise, for those that are called to even the office of a pastor, the evangelist, the prophet, whatever it is, uh, we have to sacrifice uh, some of the things that we feel, some of the things that we are exposed to, some of the things that we are experiencing in an effort to do our due diligence to teaching and preaching this gospel that we are so committed to. All of these scriptures are extremely familiar, but I, I want to remind you that no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're facing, no matter what your exposure, uh, that you can absolutely, Philippians 4 and 13, and that is simply do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And I, I know that during this COVID season, some folks are probably uh, feeling extremely nostalgic, feeling uh, the weight of the absence of people, feeling the pressure of not being able to touch someone or even the holidays um, and, and things are different. Things are, are extremely different than what we are accustomed to. Things have been transitioned without our permission. And uh, that's one of the things that I've had to learn how to do. I did not give uh, God permission to put me in a situation that I have absolutely no control over with any of my children, let alone uh, this young one. I, I did not give God permission to put me in peculiar places where uh, things are unfamiliar and uncomfortable and potentially frustrating. I did not give God permission uh, to, to make me in a, a, in a situation where I cannot uh, move to the left or to the right without his hand upon me. But let me tell you what I have given God permission to do. Uh, that is to be sovereign in every area of my life, whatever that looks like. And, and no, it's not fun. And sometimes I absolutely cannot stand it. And sometimes we make, uh, we crack jokes about what it looks like uh, to for real submit yourself unto the Lord. It's, it's not familiar spaces. It's not comfortable places. But what is it that you can do down on the inside of yourself to make sure you stay in a place of constant reset? constant resilience where no matter what happens, the winds may blow, uh, you may feel tossed and driven. However, you know that you are rooted in a thing. There, there are certain things that come to test your root system. There, there are certain things that happen uh, outside externally to check uh, your mental gravitation. And I choose uh, to remember that he's good. And so um, right before Josiah called me, uh, you know, each month, it, when you are uh, self-employed, when you are starting a business, and, and I know that God pushed it out, and, and while the business has been in existence for years, um, I had not done my due diligence. I had not done everything I knew to do to push it forward, and here it is that God has had me in the house physically for all five years, and and so he took away the ability for me to go outside so that I could go inside, so that I could reset my thinking um, and really go back to a normal state of being. You know, life and situations and circumstances will happen and it will cause you to go outside of yourself uh, to grab and gravitate to what's already down on the inside of you. And so, you know, each month it, it varies. It's different. Some are greater than others. And so I'm checking my account. <laughs> 
I was like, Lord, I don't, I don't know what we're doing this month. I'm not, I ain't sure. As I'm checking my account, I'm like, wait a minute. Why is this here change in here like this? What is this about? <laughs> I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm thinking to myself, um, I bought this, 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 this. I took care of this, 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 this. Why is it still this much money in my account? I said all of that to say. Listen, when you give God permission to be sovereign, you might be dealing with some things externally, but the reality is he's still making a way internally. He's still doing things that make absolutely no sense. And while it wasn't millions of dollars, let me tell you what it was. It was a supernatural wealth transfer. I'll tell you that. So I'm dealing with this solution over here and this problem over here. But the beautiful thing is God is just that the scales will always measure up if you allow him to be the sovereignty in your life. There, there are certain things that you may think are missing, but what I have learned to do, I've learned how to abase, I've learned how to abound, but more importantly, I've learned how to trust him in all situations. Do I like it always? No, ma'am, and no, sir. But let me tell you what I know about the truth of God's word. When you honor God with your life, he will honor you with his favor. He will open up doors that no man can close. He will shut doors that no man can open. He will give you the ability to reset in the middle of a storm. He will open up the eyes of your understanding. He'll give you a compassionate heart. He'll give you a mind to live your faith out loud. He'll give you the strength to go through every valley. He'll give you the power and the encouragement to step over obstacles and use them as opportunities. He'll give you the strength stamina to keep going even when it feels like you want to give up he'll give you the empowerment down on the inside of yourself to change your mind about what you think you see he'll give you everything that you need because he simply is i am and today i can say that i am reset me not only did he reset me but see one of the things i love about god is he'll give you a new perspective the fact that he trusts me with a, a, a broken pieces, the fact that he trusts me uh, with people's lives, the fact that he trusts me uh, with my broken self, the fact that he trusts me and gives me permission to speak life to dead things and watch them grow, the fact that he trusts me in spite of all my failures, in spite of all my shortcomings, the fact that he trusts me is enough to get up every day with a mind simply to be reset. Let this mind, hallelujah, be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The fact that he trusts me to keep professing the truth of his word in spite of my circumstances. The fact that he trusts me to keep on encouraging folks, even on the days that I don't feel like it. The fact that he trusts me to go out in the community and serve, sometimes for a place of my life. The fact that he trusts me to do his bidding in spite of everything I think I see is mind blowing. It's enough to reset you. It's enough to reestablish you. It's enough to change your mind about changing your mind. It's enough to keep you from giving up. It's enough to keep you from quitting on the job. It's enough to start that business that you scared to death of. It's enough to trust that husband or wife that once upon a time broke your heart. It's enough to stay in a place of singleness when you're single. It's enough to choose ye this day who you will serve. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what you may be going through. He is constant. 
Not only is he constant, but he's faithful. Not only is he faithful, but he's sure. Not only is he sure, but he's just. Not only is he just, but he's righteous. Not only is he righteous, but he's holy. Not only is he holy, but he is Alpha and Omega. Not only is he Alpha and Omega, he is your beginning and your end. Not only is he the beginning and the end, he's a provider. Hallelujah. Not only is he provider, but he is a healer. Not only is he a healer, but he is your peace. Not only is he your peace, he is your strength. Not only is he your strength, he is your joy. Glory to God. I'm so grateful today that I don't look like what I've been through. I don't even look like what I am going through because the spirit of God that lives down on the inside of you and me and uh, we is enough to reset you, to let you know that every single thing that you need to keep going, everything that you need to accomplish that which he called you to complete, uh, he who began a great work in you shall perform it until the day of Christ Jesus, that there is no weapon formed against you, not even the weapon of your own mind, not even the weapon of your bad attitude, not even the weapon of your uncomfortable disposition can keep you from reaching your zenith, keep you from reaching your plateau. God has some greater things, greater works than these shall you do in his name. No matter what you're feeling like this morning, no matter what you're going through this morning, I just came to encourage you. Thanksgiving may be different tomorrow. Uh, but I want you to remember that God has a plan for your life. His unfailing love is never changing. <clears throat> Everything that he said, he meant it. All of his promises are yes and amen. And I, I want you to be reminded that you should keep going. Yeah, 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 Dion. No, 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 I promise. You win if you don't quit. Listen, last night I went to sleep with a whole attitude. I got up about 3.30 this morning, and I had to reset so that I could reset you. So that being said, I pray that something I said encouraged you. I pray um, that that's something that I said empowered you to go don't trip. Don't don't trip. It is what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Life happens. After a while, you understand life doesn't happen to you. You happen to life. What came to happen to life today? I I don't got time to feel sorry for myself. I got stuff to do, and that means I have to decide to do it. Amen. Uh, with that being said, good morning, God morning, great morning, and happy Wednesday to each of you. Is there anybody who joined the call a little late who didn't have an opportunity to say good morning? Anybody, anybody? Good morning. It's Prosperous Pam. Wonderful word this morning, Pastor Dion. Great morning. Great morning, Pam. Happy Wednesday to you. Good morning, is Chantel. That was beautiful. Thank you. Good morning, Dion. Awesome, awesome word. It's Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Come on. Good morning, this is Leomi. I love you. Good morning, Leomi. I love you Good morning, Dion. This is Gloria. God be praised. Thank God for you, and I bless God for the word. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Dion. It's sunshine, and thank you uh, for your message. I really appreciate it. And today, thank you. Hey, for the family, is Moxie in the house? Great, great hey, hey. Great declaration as you. Good morning, sister. Love you. Lifting Joe Sia up. Good morning. 
Good morning, Good morning family. Good morning, Samaje. Good morning, Good morning Morvin. Magnificent. Thank you. Love you, family. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Good morning, Barbara Lodi. Peace and blessings to everyone. Love you, Miss Dion. I'm praying for you, sweetie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dion. This is Sunshine again. This first. Uh oh, we losing you, Sunshine. Say it again. I said, this is the first time my husband's ever been on a prayer line with me. Oh, yay. Welcome, husband. We are glad Welcome, to have husband. you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Welcome to the family, Chucky. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, Mrs. Ken Killer Chucky. Awesome declaration. Welcome, Chucky. Good morning, Miss Deidre. Welcome, Chucky. Hi, Deidre. Good morning, Miss Krishanda. God bless you. Good morning, Krishanda. Hey, good morning, God morning, great morning. Welcome, Chucky. Morning, one to twelve. Good word. Good morning, Victor family. God bless you all this morning. Welcome, Chucky. Good morning, morning Archer. This is Rochelle. Welcome, Chucky. Good morning. Good love. Glad to have you on the call, Chucky. Welcome to the family. Hi, Nene. <laughs> Baby. Excuse my voice. Something's going on. Good morning, Pastor. Yeah, this is Burchelle. That was awesome word. Glory to God. Great morning. Good morning, this is Marquila. Hey, Marquila, good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning, morning Dion. Great word. Good morning, Chucky. Welcome. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Dion. It's Sister Priscilla. Thank you for everything you've done, everything you're going to do and doing. I just thank you for Declare Victory. Good morning, Declare Victory family. I'm just thankful this morning. God be the glory. Good morning, Pastor Dia. Good morning, Jamila, honey. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, everyone. Just sunshine again. Chucky, he's shy. He said thank you, everyone. No, no problem. He he'll get his voice after a while. No rush. We we here. We not morning, going nowhere. Everyone. Good morning. Anybody else before we walk into the love, life, and victory discussion? Amen. Um. <sighs> Just real quick, just some some transparent dialogue. I I don't know um, about you all, but uh, I know that the holidays are tough for lots and lots of people. For some folks, um, you're dealing with grief and loss, and other folks, you frustrated about where you are and wish things could be different. For others, um, you know, it, it, in singleness you are frustrated about your singleness i mean there there are so many reasons right up and through here even though we're talking about gratitude and being grateful where you could find a reason to have 18 whole attitudes can anybody relate other than me yes ma'am 
I'm right here with Look, you. Yeah. I was just going to say, is it just me? I'm the only one with, with raggedy places. Be like, honey, y'all could take this and throw it in the garbage. Thanksgiving is probably my preference. But the truth is, you know, if you got underlying circumstances and situations, and then to, to top it all off, here we are dealing with COVID and the government is um, encouraging people to stay at home. And if you have loved ones, as much as you want to hang out with them, you know, if there are some pre-existing conditions, shall I have a whole heart attack if something happened to my mama because we was eating some turkey. Child, bye. <laughs> right now, if you guys live together, that's that's one thing. Um, but but the truth is, it's a whole different feeling. So I want to give you um, just a couple of things that, that I have to do. I have to, like, play tricks with my mind. The word says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And what, what I try to do is take and find the best part of even uncomfortable places. And so yesterday, while I had a mind to do X, Y, and Z, um, when, I, when I got up and reassessed just the goings on of the day and the process, God always makes provision for us in the process. No different than I was able to check my account. <laughs> Some of the things I felt extra, ultra pressed about, I didn't have to be because he had already made provision prior to the problem. It helped me not only reset my mind, but remember what he has done in times past. Y'all got to remember, I haven't had a standard job for four years. And my overhead is not $20. I'm talking to you on a cell phone. The light is on. The computer is on, connected to the internet. It's nice and toasty in my house. I don't I don't live in a, a, a car. I'm not sleeping outside. And for real, real things have happened. So when you start to think about, <laughs> as the old folks would say, when I look back over my life and all that you've brought me through, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Right, so I just want to help you reframe your thinking today. Yeah, I was inconvenienced for a couple of hours, but when I think about the provision for all these years, honey, if you don't shut up and get your mind right, what you doing? What you going through? <laughs> That's me roasting myself because the same crazy way I talk to y'all, I talk to Dion. Trust me. <laughs> I stand right in the mirror and let me have it. Hey man, any questions, comments, commentary, encouraging words, anything anybody has? Mm -hmm. Pastor Dion. <laughs> go go ahead. I heard Pam and who else is that? Elsie. I, I didn't hear you. This is Elsie. Oh, okay. So so go go in that order, Pam and then Elsie go. Okay, so Pastor Dion, I was just gonna tell you that I love the um when you just um, as much as you have going on, um, and I can't imagine you had, um, I kind of call it when God smiles at me when I'm having like a really difficult time and then something will happen like when you talked about how you had a little bit money extra in your account. I just love that how God does that. Like it's almost like he's telling me to keep going. Um, so I don't know, I kind of felt that for you that, you know, how, how you appreciated it and sometimes God has ways of just kind of letting us know to just keep going um, or he's smiling on me or something like that. So um, I just appreciated your entire work this morning. Just wanted to share that. Amen. He showed enough winks, Pammy. I was like, oh, <laughs> well, all right. Thank you, Bob. That was fly. That's awesome. That's awesome. Amen. Go ahead, Elsie. Uh, I have to say that I recently experienced that. I've always been the one to witness it happen, the blessing from God. But um, as of getting my apartment, um, 
a lot of you guys have been so generous to help me fill up my cabinet and my refrigerator for my boys to come home. Um, and it seems to keep coming. And it's just been so a blessing and I've been so overwhelmed from it. The blessing that God continues to, to send my way that I can't help but to get on my knees and just thank him. It's like I don't have to worry about the boys not having food on the table. I don't have to worry about future bills because there's been so many people that have been so generous and such a blessing to me and my boys. It's just, it's been amazing just going through this whole road of life, <laughs> the ups, the downs, the craziness, and you just can't help but thank him because it allows me the opportunity to grow and be the person I am now. And work on healing myself and healing my family. There's so much turmoil and it's allowing me the opportunity to be able to help what I can from going through my experience to be able to heal uh, years of um, trauma. And it's been a blessing to go through all that, to be able to be a blessing and help heal. So I came all the way down to LA to see my family and spend time with my mom because I don't know how much time I have with her. She was diagnosed with COPD and for her to breathe is a constant struggle. So it allows me and my boys to spend and get memories, good memories before I lose her. So um, if you guys can pray for her. Um, but thank you guys. Um, for all you guys have done, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have this opportunity for me and my boys. So I want to really thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. Amen. 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 <laughs> God be praised. And honey, if it wasn't us, he would have used somebody else. <laughs> How about that? I just thank God for the obedience of believers um, who are willing to sow into good ground. You've come such a long way. We're super duper proud of you. Amen. Anybody else? This is hey, good morning. Lola. I heard Barbara and... Lola and who else? Who else was that that spoke first? Kedra. Okay. Go ahead, Kedra and then Barbara. Oh, amen. So uh, just thank everybody that's on the call, but I can relate to, like, everything you mentioned um, far as the things that occur when you feel the type of way you feel. I can relate to that. I mean, so I'm just basically speaking out and publicly requesting prayer for me just to go and get out my feelings and get them to do the mirror ministry so that I could press forward, you know, with um, the holiday, my mom grown, and um, – you know, that affects me. And, you know, it, it is just, you know, I ain't got no husband. I ain't, you know, not woe is me. Knock it off. So I just, um, I'm publicly asking just to pray for me so I can just continue to press forward because I know if I stay stuck in that, that, you know, um, like just like a thief ain't going to rob empty house, that, you know, <laughs> If I stay stuck in that, I'm not going to be able to press forward and, and, and receive whatever it is that God has allowed me to um, and equipped me to go through all those things for. I am encouraged. I thank God for declare victory. And as um, far as that COVID situation, I know I, I, since I'm here in California, I want to love on and come see some people. But we might be having to do a Zoom something because, you know, the reality of it is. It's real, you know, and um, so just pray my strength in the Lord, and um, I thank God for everything. Amen. 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 Hope to see you. Go ahead, Barb. Hey, I just want to give God some glory and let people know that God will make a way out of no way. You just sometimes you wonder about where the money coming from. We're dealing with unemployment. It's running out, this and that. But God is so good because I just, when I get in uh, feeling some kind of way, I just get out and go volunteer and go help help other people and love on other people. 
and and this week I, I took on a project in volunteering and out of the blue money is gifted to me. I got almost two hundred dollars. I'm like, really guys? For real? <laughs> I'm here volunteering. I didn't ask for any money. I'm t- busy telling these people. I, I I just came to volunteer. I'm not asking for any money. They were, don't block your blessing. At all. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And I'm like, wow. So God just has me in awe. And I just want to share that with you guys. And hopefully that will encourage somebody. Because God is taking care of his people. And God bless everyone. Very good. Very good. Very good. And and to be honest, some of us have to learn how to receive. I remember once upon a time, I'd have been like, oh, no, this has got to be wrong. Honey, listen, I thank you, Jesus, and keep it pushing. Amen. And that was me. It was very hard for me because when you're the giver all the time, it is seriously hard to receive. So I am at that point now where I can say, okay, and take it. But before, it was a struggle. Mm-hmm. It was a struggle. It's crazy. It's <laughs> How is he in the grocery store? <laughs> yes, it's whole. It's hot. I can't believe I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoever that is, we, we can't hear you. I said that was me in the grocery store, Dion, the last two weeks. I was like, I don't want to take advantage. <laughs> Girl, and all I could say was, honey, shut up. And get what you want to do. So I can go to work. <laughs> you about to get on my nerves. If you don't get some meat, I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Anybody else? I don't mean to take up all the space again, but this sunshine again. I am so happy today. Y'all have no <laughs> idea. Because I was ready to reset and leave my husband of twenty six years. And he just <laughs> came in this room and took about praying with me. Lord, Lord, hallelujah. We are hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus, I was thinking about how to leave him. Hey, sunshine. That's because this is Dee Dee. I I, I can get with that reset for marriage. Before I tell you this, it's not, but it's not him, it's you. Because what what we have to do as wives, and this is for all of us, I have to learn, pray Pray um, for him, not about him, because he's watching you. So I'm grateful that you didn't leave a 26-year marriage. I just made eight, so I'm I'm gonna lift you and check you up. I'm so glad that he's on the call this morning. To God be praised. You just keep on trusting God and and watch watch you watch God do a lot because he came in. So that's a big step. Dion, yes, yes. I've been praying for everyone here in my family. Yes. Amen. And- Finally working. I mean, I did not. He's working it out. Just you got to oh. trust him. You have to trust him. Dion, I wanted to tell you this real quick, sis. The seven hours with Josiah, I had no idea. But I feel him sometimes because I text him the other day. And y'all, if you have never got a text from Josiah, if you have never had him, not really check you, but when you, for me, when I call myself checking on him, he like, I'm good. Are you? It's, it, I can't even explain it. It's like he won't let me be the auntie that's going to fall apart. Oh, so I, he like, I'm good. And like she said, if you see this young man, hallelujah, he don't look like what he's been through. Like Dion said, Dion, thank you for that, too. I don't look like what I've been through, and I don't look like what I'm going through because it don't stop. So just because of who you are and how bold you are and how you go through so much, but you still show up fighting however you show up, checking yourself in the mirror, checking us. To God be praised for you, sis, because I know it's nothing but the connection through you. And I know that. I know I know what I've been through, but I know that God strategically connected us for that Richmond power, for real, for real. It's really strong. So I love you this morning, sis, and I am so just excited just to have you love and cover me. That's it. I love you. Amen. Love you too, babe. Good morning. This is Sister Sylvia. Thank you so much for that declaration. I tell you, I I just I just wanted to shout <laughs> the whole time that you were doing that declaration because every single thing that you spoke of I could relate to. Um, I remember meeting a pastor uh, years ago who has a church in Stockton. I can't even remember right now, but um, one thing she said that stood out so much to this day is that when she was deep in her addiction. And I can testify to this one. 
for myself. When she was deep in her addiction, she had no idea, but God knew that he was preparing her for in the future how he would use her. And so every time I hear the declaration and the words that were just being spoken, you talked about caregiver. I got notes. You talked about being a caregiver of many. Um, I helped take care of my mom. I've been doing it for 10 years. She's bed bound. I'm over here right now. And just on speaker while you were talking so she can hear it while she rested. And I'm changing her and cleaning her up. Um, I help my daughter. She has MS. So I leave here uh, last Friday from taking care of mom, rush to my daughter who's having spasms from her MS, help her out, and then leave to go to my other daughter's house to help with my grandchild and with her because she's overwhelmed. And I was mm. so tired and so exhausted. But I said, Lord, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because once I lay down and rest for the night, I wake up and I'm reset and I'm recharged to start it all over again the next day. And so what you said is that um, we have to sacrifice ourselves to be a caregiver because that is what God has us here to be. And so on days when I don't feel like I can even encourage myself, he gives me the words to encourage others. And this is what I do on a daily basis. I'm I'm doing a fundraiser right now just out of the clear blue sky. He said, pick the farm workers who are wearing masks out here outside of Fresno and sacrificing their lives to pick fruits and vegetables. You're going to do a fundraiser. You're going to do a toy drive for their children. And then my prayer partner said, no, that they can't eat toys. So now we're going to do adopt a family. So we're adopting 36 families and the donations are coming in and I'm going to pack up this stuff and deliver it. It's presents under the tree. I tell my two-year-old grandma, that's not for you. That's for the children that don't have anything. So yeah. I just thank you. I just wanted to shout the whole time that you were talking, every single thing that you said I could relate to. Hallelujah. God took away our, our our ability to go outside so that we can go inside. Yeah. And I feel I, I learned over the years, and I thank him that I finally, finally realized over these past few years that I am not here for myself. I am here to serve him, to do his will. And without no test, there is no testimony. Survivor of the sexual uh, abuse, a survivor of substance abuse, of domestic violence, survivor of HIV, you name it. Every situation I've been in, he has used me to encourage others dealing with the same thing. Absolutely. And I just Very love good. it so much. I thank you for this ministry. I thank you for my mentor, Sister Lisa Porter, who referred me here because every time I get on this line, I am filled and reset and recharged and ready to continue because God is constant. Just like you said. Yes, oh, ma'am. bless you, you so much. Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah. Ma'am. I just want Hallelujah. to shout thank you. Thank you. Thank you Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> he absolutely is all that, honey. <laughs> and then some. He never fails. It is impossible. Amen. Anybody else this morning before we get ready to wrap it up? Morning, Deanna. Shell. Sorry, I lost my lost the call for a minute, but um, okay. my God, I don't even know where to start. Um, uh, well, as we look at Facebook and it pops up all these memories, a memory popped up from 2012. And that was the year, the day before Thanksgiving, that my dad fell and had a cerebral hemorrhage. And all I could do is thank God that I made it in time enough to get to him. Not only did I make it in time enough, but God has extended his time still to this day. My prayer was for him just to you know, be able to hold on to see my son and my nephew who were incarcerated at the time. That was 2012. It's 2020, and my dad has outlived one of my kids. Mm. My God. Mm-hmm. When I sit back and think about who he is, why he is, because he is, and everything that he is, I can't say. The guy I see yesterday, he said, what could you say? I said, I can't complain because he's already did. He died on the cross. What, what am I to complain about? Even though I don't understand it, I am so thankful, even unto today. There is nothing, nothing that I can say or appreciate 
the fact that I am on this line with my family and that my my job is to be the archer that I'm being mentored to be. So I thank God for you. I thank God for God. I thank God for Jesus. I am so thankful. It's so overwhelming that God would step out of deity, which he didn't have to, and come down this way and show that, guess what? You can do it. I did it. You could do it. So I thank God for you, Deanna. Thank God for everybody. Just so thankful. Amen. God be praised. I'm sorry. I have one last thing. This sister Sylvia, I have to tell you this part. When you talked about put having money in your account and money showing up that you didn't know about yesterday, my battery completely died. I got a jump two or three times the day before, but I had to be at my mom's in San Francisco. So I got a jump to keep the car running, to keep driving to San Francisco. And my stepdad, when I got here, he said, you know, you don't have to go running around and go get a battery. You can have one brought to you. And I said, what do you mean? He said, I'm going to call AAA. Well, I had did a cleaning job because I have a cleaning business on Sunday, and I got paid for that job. When I looked at my cash app, though, the same amount of money was back in there again. And I texted the lady. I said, did you send the money again? She said, yes, I was advancing you for next month. The money she sent was the exact <laughs> amount of money that it cost for that battery. To, and it was 163 She had cashed at me 165 Won't he do it? Won't yes, he do it? <laughs> Very Praise good. God. Every time I turn around, he just keeps on blessing me. That's why I don't, I'll pour it out and pour it out as often as I can because I know it's coming back. And I do it not because yeah. I want it to, because he just does it. Yeah. And not even because we deserve it. How about that? How about that? <laughs> uh, I got a question for Pastor Dion. Uh, <laughs> Pastor Dion, oh, how, do you, how do you feel? When you hear so many people on this line um, giving God the glory and thanking God and um, thanking you for being obedient and doing everything God has uh, called you to do um, to, to, you know, to minister to them and to set up um, a community such as Declare Victory, um, how do you feel? (laughs) Listen, Miss Interviewer, first and foremost, now that I don't climb under the bed end, uh, or or get under the couch because I, I understand and recognize that all glory and honor belong to God. Um, I'm grateful for people being able to find their way, but more than anything, it is very humbling because I didn't do anything to deserve it, if that makes sense. It is an honor and a privilege to serve uh in kingdom bidding and kingdom living. It, it really is. And it, it does not give any testament to me being perfect. It reminds me that I yet have work to do. That's, that's more than anything what it, what it does for me. It reminds me to stay in God's face and stay in his presence um, and to remember that it is you all that keep me close to the fire. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that. Thank you. You're you're welcome. (laughs) Hello. Yes, Mona. Hey, it's Moshi Mona. Just wanted to just say something real quick. (laughs) You know, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it. But I actually wanted to say something um, to Michelle. Um, um, Tina gave you the perfectest name, sister. She gave you the perfectest name, yo. Because um, when I the, the resurrection. I never thought about it in that way, but now that I, I hear it and I was just feeling the Holy Spirit was just talking to me, he would just say, you, for all the, the testimony, even the part that I have heard, that you have been through, woman, and how you still speak life is just so beautiful to me, and it's just your sound of how it comes across. I can feel the, the you know, being, um, being born, you know what I'm saying, when, when she's speaking, you can feel the life being born, so I just... I have to just say that to you. You are you are such a um, power. I feel your power. You know, to be able to stand and and just like I said, just doing the small things that you have testified about. You know, it, it's just so beautiful to hear. So that you got the she, Tanya gave you a perfect name, a perfect name. Now, this is this sorry, the joyful Jamila again. This is what we uh, really when she say because everything we said about her. 
that's it's, it's all God that's moving through her. She is just being obedient to the you. So, um, like you know, we continue to thank God. Just like she said, it's it's not her. It's not. She is being obedient. She is being used, and that's 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 what it is. And it's an amazing thing to to witness, right? Yeah, Dion watching her is always. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. She's such an inspiration for me. And uh, um, just in my life, she she speaks fire. She motivates me. She she picks me up. Sometimes when she when she was saying that about the mirror, how she do that to herself, I do that too. So a lot of times it'd be some of the things that she have said to me. So I know exactly what you're saying, sister, most definitely. Hey, good morning. And it's spelled with an I, I want you to know, because I was just getting ready to text you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, great minds think alike. <laughs> Don't they? Listen. I wanted to go back, you know, Amona, Amoxi, sorry, sorry. Every time I hear that name, I almost get goosebumps because I'm like, Moxie done showed up. Moxie yes. is here. Um, but but as you were talking about, Moxie, as you were talking about Rochelle and the name, for a minute I was like, what is she talking about? I didn't give her a name. I completely forgot. That's how special I am because it wasn't me. It was God who gave it to her. But as you began to relate about um, Rochelle and her journey and who she is, the strength that she has, understanding and knowing, yeah, that is that was the right name for her, restoration, uh, restored Rochelle. Um, and Rochelle, it's important for you, all of y'all who have a name, it's important for you all to announce that when you, when you um, especially when you're on the line, people outside this line won't really understand it unless you put it into context. And if you want to do that with some people, you're more than welcome to do that. But it's important that you um, announce that name with your given name, your birth name, because it, it speaks to your purpose. And faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word. And so even if you're not quite sure of it yet and you're still having a little bit of a struggle with it, the more you hear it, the more you will accept it. I'll never forget when we named Pretty Patrice Pretty. Um, you know, some people thought it was because of something else, but it wasn't. It was anyway. That's a whole other story. But I wanted to say this about um, Dion's testimony this morning. What what make this is not lifting her up. Um, this is not this is not even really so much about her. There is something that I I would like you all to take a look at. Um, in our traditional churches, and this is no shade against any pastor, against any leader, but our tradition has been that a leader always shows you strength. They don't generally show you any weakness. They don't tell you, think about your pastor, think about your leaders. They don't generally as a whole, especially the old school ones, will not tell you if they're going through something, if they're having a crappy day or if they hella, hella, hella annoyed, they, you're not going to, you're not going to hear that realness. Somebody, if you can mute for a minute, you're not going to hear that realness because we feel it because we're human, right? And so what you get to get here on Declare Victory is the authenticity that we talk about so often. For some of you, it, it, you haven't really heard a lot of it yet. Um, so we talk about being overcomers by the words of our testimony. We we talk about and we show you through real life examples of this is how you work through a thing. This this is how you push reset. This is how you find your focus. This is how you whatever it is the theme is for the month. That's what the themes are about. But the most important thing is to understand that leaders, whether you're a pastor or a layper, it doesn't matter. People have challenges. You, we don't get to name it and claim it and uh, fast until we uh, skin and bones and then it just goes away. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Some of the things that we face are, are God allowed because we are gaining strength in the struggle. Um, unfortunately, somewhere we missed it along the line. And I'm not talking about you on this line. I'm talking about our leaders before us and again, no shade to them. Somehow along the way, we missed it, and we think that if our lives are have some any inkling of a problem or a challenge, that there is sin present. We've done something wrong, and that's not true. 
certainly there are times when we've done things and there are consequences as a result of that. But every time we go through something doesn't mean that we sinned and that we got to feel ashamed and we start to uh, open our minds so that the enemy can guilt us into doing things that we shouldn't. Like the perfect thing that you can do is when I get so heavy sometimes, sometimes all I can do is thank God for my eyelashes or to thank him for my fingernails so that I could scratch an itch or to thank him because I got some clothes in the closet or to thank him that I'm sleeping in a in a comfortable bed. Sometimes when things are so heavy, right? And then there are sometimes when I know I have to press the reset that causes me to fight, at not a person, but fight in the spirit. I thank God for YouTube. There, I have made a playlist of certain prayers or certain songs that I go to when I'm in that moment. So what are you saying, Tanya? I'm not trying to tr- teach the lesson all over again. I'm just trying to help you to see how important it is for you to acknowledge, just like what Dion was showing or the example she gave us this morning, acknowledge I'm feeling crappy. I, at this moment, I'm feeling crappy. But make a decision that you won't stay there and do what you need to do within the will of God to get yourself out of it. It might be, dan- I'll turn on, listen, today I will turn on some music and start dancing. Why? I'm changing the atmosphere. I'm pressing reset. For, so for whatever it is that you need to do, that's healthy. I don't mean eating a bunch of comfort food or, you know, abusing a substance. We don't, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a godly reset. Okay, muting. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, um, I love you. I just want you to know that, but you already know that. So yeah, um, I know, I know it without a shadow of a doubt. If somebody told me something I, different, I'll beat them up. I'll beat them up. I I need you to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to say it publicly. Hello, 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 everybody. Hey, family. I got off the phone for a minute. I'm glad I got back on. Um, and I want to be obedient to what Tanya just said. Um, she she gave me a, a name Saturday, another name, an additional name. And you know, both of those names really, really, I'm not going to use them. But today I'm going to use it, right? Because I believe it's so appropriate, according to what uh, Pastor Phil, Minister Phil, Dr. Phil said on yesterday, she gave me the word living waters, right? Living waters, Lisa, something like that. I, 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 and so I'm going to say that today. That might be one of the only times you will hear that come out of my mouth just because <laughs> I am. So today I will be obedient, Tanya, and say this. The scripture that he gave us on yesterday, not forsaking ourselves, the assembling together as the manner of such is, but exhorting one another as so much the more as we see the day approaching. Another version is not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, but coming together to encourage one another because the days are soon approaching or the days are evil. So I believe this is not to praise Dion. This is us coming together. I know we're talking about a physical presence, but we are together here, gathered in his name, and we are in unity and in unison, talking about how much we love and thank God for her. Why don't we just encourage her? We know she reset, but when we come together, we can encourage her as well. So if everybody would take your phones off of mute, and let's just praise God for Pour life into her. Thank 
Hallelujah to, to close that off before I say, Miss uh, um, Wilmona said, I'm going to listen to the playback. I was in this store. I had to leave that whole park there when my phone dropped. So I had to come outside and make sure I stay on the call. But again, I um, and I, Tanya, don't think when I, you know, make the little tones and laugh and stuff because 
you know, the Holy Spirit already unctions you and tells you before someone is going to say or do something. So that's why I always be trying to look like, okay, here she go. Because he's already told me you were going to say something. And I receive it. I promise you, I receive it with a whole heart. And I am thankful. So I just want to tell you that. Hey, this is Gloria. I, I I have just been blessed by I was I missed part of the call, but the part that I, I the most I've got most of it, but I really appreciate the fact, Dion, of how you show us how to do what we're called to do. And I appreciate the example. I, I love you, I appreciate you, and I appreciate the entire Declare Victory call because we support one another and we love on one another and we embrace one another no matter what. So I love y'all so much. Love you too, girl. And for me, and this for is me. Killer Kedra. I am like just super, because I've been having the uh, blessing of Dion in my life for over 30 years. And although I've reset numerous amount of times, she's, uh, She's always uh, poured into me, so I do. I genuinely and authentically praise and thank and worship God for your obedience and you just being who you are. Amen. Pastor D, oh, I'm going to say Pastor D, uh, oh, my word. Yeah, um, hi, this is Patricia. Good morning. Good morning to you. Um, um, this song came to me. I don't know. You might know it. It's a, uh, there is none like you. <clears throat> there is no one, no one like you, sweet Jesus. Do you know that song? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I just, just listen. It just came to me, that song. And you know what what happened yesterday? I'm just got a little smile on my face. I've, I've been carrying like um, I have a pickup truck, and I've got to get rid of it. But only, but she's been real good to me. And uh, so what I'm doing now, there's clothes and such in my 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 closet and everything, and food and stuff like that, you know. And so I figured, being I'm here in San Francisco, I can go ahead and you know, there's pe- plenty of people out there on the street. You know, and, and it's just so hurtful, hurtful, and it just got to me. Yes, uh, yes, last night it it didn't get to me, but I kept it in my car, and I looked around. I couldn't find nobody. Then late at night, I went and got me a salad. There was a man standing out there with with a um, a blanket wrapped around him, and he had a cap, and he was holding his cap out, and I had this uh, jacket, and it's a um. What do you call it? It's feather inside, goose, whatever they call it, goose down, whatever. And and so I went and walked back to the car. I said, I got this jacket. And he and I gave it to him. I made it back in time to, to, to give it to him. And I gave it to him. And he says, oh, thank you so much. I didn't know how I was going to sleep tonight or how I was going to stay warm. And it just, I said, well, you know, you do some praying, too, while you're out here. Do some praying. But it just got me that it just. The God works like that so, so, so good. You know, it was so good. And and and, and I got me a nice little salad. But I just want to share that. Amen. Amen. Good stuff, Patricia. There's nothing more rewarding than being able to be a blessing to somebody else that feels different. It oh, man. Empowering. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lisa is in trouble. Mm. Hey, man. Anybody else have anything before we get ready? Hey. To hey. Yes, yeah, Dee. I just wanted to say because I did. I had. I hadn't forgot, but Tanya never gave me a name. I ain't feeling no type of way. But Diamond Gill gave me Dynamite Dee Dee like years ago, and so I, I think I need to pull her back out. Because I have forgotten that that name came from her. Um, so I have to look into what dynamite, I know what dynamite is explosive. But I just want to um, say, Tanya, thank you for reminding us to 
to give, you know, use our names that we were given. So that's it. Love you guys. Go on, I Dynamite dunamis. Dunamis. I was dunamis. I was just gonna say that's dunamis. Gone power. <laughs> so yeah. family. Um There you go. I already know what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you sure? Come through, yeah. Magnificent, because I, I was know. about to text I you know. to say what's going on. What? I don't know. I'm going to let y'all do it, and then I'll come behind y'all. No. You hear me? No. You do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. But <laughs> they said not forsaking um, ourselves and the assembling of ourselves and um, just want to be a blessing to each other. <laughs> um, we have some Declare Victory babies that are nieces and nephews, and tonight um, God has made room for their gifts. And it's my sister's um, daughter, her baby, and her husband. They are launching tonight on TV One, um, Tough Love LA. They had a YouTube series. They started with Tough Love New York when they were living in New York, Emmy nominated. Um, and so tonight they uh, they moved to LA and now they're launching. And so it might be a little spicy because they are babies and they're, um, you know, going through their um, – developmental stage but um it's 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 um it's okay for tv so i just wanted to say support them on tonight be proud of your nieces and nephews and um while you're watching tv um look for ronnie and caleb davis in the in the um what they call them in the credits (laughs) i don't know if this is what they thought i was going to do talking about prosperity in the pandemic that's what we've been talking about how god has blessing all of us and this is definitely they had to film um, you know, this series, you know, in the pandemic and then, um, you know, got the contract that came through in the pandemic. So we're grateful. Um, and I'm just grateful for Declare Victory and our De- my Declare Victory Walk It Out sisters and um, how we support one another and continue to grow. And I'm continuing to look for Cynthia and a few others of us to join us on Thursday night, Thursday's nights. I'm, I'm not sure if we're meeting tomorrow night, but I love you, family. Amen. Hey, Magnificent. What what time? You said TV one, but but what time? Unfortunately, I'm not sure what time. Everybody has different time okay. zones. Um, probably like set anywhere between set five o'clock and ten o'clock. It depends on where you live. You you need to check your what do they say? Check your local TV networks. But it's it's tonight. It's a you know a prime time premiere. So anywhere between five o'clock and ten o'clock. But check your TV and your VCR tonight. And uh, I'll check on their website. You can check TV One's the Facebook page. All of that stuff is there. And um, you gave my sister uh, um, Tanya, Tanya, not Tanya, the name, and it's her on the line. She's very, pretty humble about it, and um, we're just proud of her and how she raised her kids and very supportive and how she came to the line and just started to build her own relationships with you guys and how Declare Victory really poured into her life and um, helped to build our relationship and our friendship. So I'm grateful for, again, Declare Victory for the many things that you guys do and how you pour into my life. And enrich my family. Thank you. My Amen. auntie's on here too a lot of times, but she don't speak. <laughs> well, hey, auntie, and I'm excited about you guys and rebuilding your relationship. That's everything. At the end of the day, all we got is family, even if it ain't blood. Yes, when Tanya um, said Tanya the other day, my auntie came on. She sent me a text yes. and was saying that the lady prophesied over you, and I was like, ah. And I didn't even, I thought it was that I was like, who is this? And, and it was my aunt had been on the phone. And I said, oh, okay. I, you know, I was completely in shock. I didn't expect her to, uh, to send it to me. So I had to take a minute to figure out who she was. But, yes, I just wanted to say this this call has been such a blessing in, in my life. But it's, it's been over a year now, and it's been consistent for me. And it's just been a peace that um like like everybody said neon you just completely walk your life out with us and to to the strength that you um empower every single day that even we know sometimes like you say sliding down the wall i used to say beat up the floor but it's the same thing just to 
to to get through the um, situations and now to be able to get through them with a peace, knowing God's going to bless us, knowing God's going to be God without us. Um, it's just a blessing because, you know, at first you just, I questioned them about everything and then I stopped questioning them. And then, you know, you, the way you said, just let, you know, even like with family, you like, they're going to be who they're going to be. Your mother going to do what she going to do. The, the, you got to accept them. She did what she did. She got what she got. She know what she know, you know, and so you just make it just bluntly plain well, that's what it is. So accept her how she is. Accept what it is. So it's just been a blessing. And like you said, me and my sister's relationship has gotten so close as friends, opposed to just sisters. You know. So yes, this whole call Tanya always inputting and uplifting and um all the glory of just Lisa. I just love this line. I love Thursday nights and um you know this. Uh, Wednesday Archer Circle is so, and then to be on in the pandemic is really been a blessing because you know you reading the word, you listening to uh, different churches, you doing. I stay in the word and stay lifted up, and it's just a real peace and the joy of the Lord that you really start kind of seeing on your life and he took the taste of like I used to go to the bar and have a drink now my girlfriend like come meet us at the bar I'm not going to no bar girl you know so it's just completely a blessing overall the whole change that um I see in in myself as I've been on this call so just thank you guys love you all have a blessed and wonderful day and a happy Thanksgiving to everybody I honor my pastor, Dion, how she teaches us to live it out loud. I call it thanks living, um, you know, from being hood and holy. I mean, all of that is, I mean, allowing us to be who we are and be the untraditional church um, because we're moving into, of course, we're in a new decade and we're in a new season. And so I'm just grateful. And so, you know, it, well, you know, if you know what to do, family, um, pour back into the Declare Victory coffers. Um, we want to be a blessing. So proud of you, Elsie. I want to keep my um, Moxie Mona and their family lifted up for um, uh, Miss Shirley in in the hospital, Lord God. And then you know over the holiday season, so many of us will um, be alone, and then so many of us will make a way to be with the family. But we just want to be mindful and and prayerful and um, Psalms ninety one over our over our lives and our families. Love you, family. Amen. We love you too. And um, just FYI, um, if in fact you do give anything today, use for Cash App, I Declare Victory Now. I had to change the Cash App handle. So not just Declare Victory, but I Declare Victory Now. And I'll, I'll go ahead and share the app. I'll share the little scan thingy, Majiba. And you don't give the five too, right? You know? Yeah. You have to give the Okay. So. Mm-hmm. You can pretty much find us everywhere. And then you can always go to declarevictory.org as well. And you can always get it directly beyond the radical midwife. That's what I do. You, listen, you, you sure enough can. <laughs> hey, man. Well, listen, y'all, I absolutely love and appreciate each of you. Um, I'm excited about what God is doing in this season. Tomorrow, we'll connect <clears throat> briefly, as I know everybody has stuff that they need to do um, on tomorrow. But we'll connect. Uh-oh. 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 You all right? Uh-oh. Drink your up alone. Yeah, honey, drink you some water over there before you fall out. Um, so so that's it, guys. Um, tonight I'm going to say we are going to um we are not having Archer Circle. We discussed that on last week, just so that everybody can do their prep and stuff for Thanksgiving and we will reconvene the following week. So again, I love you, but I promise so God love you. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So are we just going to have prayer tomorrow and not a declaration? So tomorrow I'm going to, um, it'll be me. I don't I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to see when we okay. get here. Well, amen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is what it shall be. It's already done. Okay, because I was going to say, 
if if we just praying, I'm not just praying, but if that be the sole agenda and we don't get a whole lot of time to talk because we get caught up in thankfulness, today is a good day to give. You know, most of us go to church, and I know somebody already said it, but I just want to reemphasize it because it was skimmed over a little bit. But but normally I go to church on Thanksgiving, and I have, I won't call it a Thanksgiving offering, but there is such a thing as a Thanksgiving offering. And so um, this could be a great place in, in lieu of, because we literally have church every day. And so since we can assemble tomorrow, most of us um, at church, you know, go ahead and sow in to declare victory. And you already got the information. So I just want to say it like that, just as I felt it. Amen. Good morning. Can you hear me? We can. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my phone. I, I, I chimed in at least six times and I was speaking and then somebody spoke over me. So I guess I'm like, I don't know what was going on with my phone because it's brand new. I just wanted to say to you, Pastor Dion, this is Cynthia, um, great declaration. And um, um, I just wanted to say how everybody's saying, I don't um, look how I um, use, how I went through stuff, but you guys also um, don't sound like how you um been through. I mean, because the Lord has changed everybody and stuff like that, the joy that you hear in them, the the things that God is doing in them, they you guys also don't sound the way whatever you went through. And I wanted to say that I, I like the part, Dion, where you talked about how God uses us through even like we're a piece of rack to him, but he uses us to help people out and to minister to them and to help them as um ch- as choy workers and as we're going to their house cleaning and stuff for them, how the Lord uses us. And he didn't have to, but he chose us. And I just wanted to say um, um, thank you for um, everything, for the um, Declare Victory, being able to call in the morning time and being able to speak and listen to the word. And you guys giving us feedbacks and helping us with um, whatever in questions and situation we're going through. God bless you. Amen. God be praised. Thank you so much for sharing, Ms. Cynthia. You and my, I had to call back like four times today. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. It's probably because our whole lives are spent on the internet. Yeah. I don't okay. know. Hi. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Can I get the cash up again, please? Sure. It's I declare victory now. I declare victory now. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Amen. Well, again, uh, God bless you. May he ever so keep you praying that you have an amazing, amazing day on today. And we will hear you in the morning, same bat station, same bat time. Blessings to each of you. Blessings to you, too, and everyone else. Have a great morning. Amen. Have a good day, everybody. Love y'all much. Have a good day. Have a blessed day. God bless, everyone. Bye. Bye. We love you back, little girl.